you got an innate immune system and you have an acquired immune system, your immune system is split up into like two different sections. And if you listen to it, innate and acquired, one deals with like what who's on the front line and then something that something that kind of develops or acquires its powers as it goes along based on whatever you're dealing with. When you're dealing with viruses though, I try to urge this as much as I can. We can't get so caught up in the boogeyman aspect of what's in our environment coming into us that we contract. It's really more of what we induce within. Like how you say you're gonna go inside, you keep saying inner space. Right, right. Well, Sabi used to always say this. This is one of his most famous sayings. He would say, if somebody lays in a bed for a month and doesn't move, they get bed sores. When you roll them over and look at those bed sores, there'll be worms in there. Where the worms came from? Where that disease come from? The disease comes from within inside our cells because remember, if, if, if you have a, a, a plastic cup and if you have a banana, if you throw that plastic cup down on the ground, they say you littering. If you throw that banana down, they say you compost it. Why do they say that? Because the banana has the ability to do what? It has the ability to break down and get back in the soil. While the paper cup, or rather the plastic cup, doesn't have the ability to break down. So when it comes to uh, uh, an organism or a human body, organisms period we have a particular structure that allows it to break down and to decompose when it's no longer serving a particular purpose meaning everything we need to decompose is already inside of us so disease is the start of decomposition disease is the start of returning you back to the earth in which you came because we inhabit this spacesuit we come from somewhere else our mother and our father provide the materials in order to build around it, but we're already here. So when we are not giving our body the things we need, when we're not taking care of our system like we need to, it starts to break down. Mm. So we're known as a hollow bion. Hollow, B-I-O-N-T, hollow bion, meaning we're a collection of not only the eukaryotic animal cells, but we're fungi, we're bacteria, with viruses as well. Our bacteria outnumber our regular nucleic cells 10 to one. Viruses outnumber the bacteria 10 to one. They're mm. all working inside of you. Mm. So what happens is when you deal with an acidic situation where your body becomes acidic and it becomes acidic through diet, it becomes acidic through environment, it becomes acidic through the frequencies that we've been talking about, Mm -hmm. That is what motivates the microbes to go through pleomorphism, meaning that they're able to transform from one state to another state to another state, reflecting the stimulus that they're in, which would be acidity or the type of environment that they're in. So viruses, they haven't even isolated them yet to prove their existence, all the pictures that they have of viruses are really something called exosomes, which are vesicles inside our body that contain RNA messenger strands that are actually getting sent from one location of the body to another, whether it being a pathological uh, messenger or it being something that will benefit our body. The difference is based on the environment. So we create the viruses, we create the bacteria, we create the infections based upon the environment that we're in. That's why I keep reiterating 5G, because 5G does that to your body. It provides the environment to create an anaerobic situation, meaning that your body is no longer utilizing oxygen. And when you're not utilizing oxygen, you become anaerobic. Anaerobic utilizes lactic acid. Lactic acid creates acidity. Acidity drops pH, no oxygen. So other things start to manifest because now 
the body gets a signal, yo, everything is acidic, everything's breaking down. There's no oxygen. If there's no oxygen, there's no life. Hey, we can thrive now. So mm. when they thrive, you start to decompose. Mm. So viral infections are induced. These are situations where people have compromised immune systems. And then through, of course, you eat animals, you get worms in you, you get bacteria in you, you get all types of stuff in you. But when you get hit with the frequency, when you're not taking care of your body and not taking care of your immune system, then everything runs rapid. So you asked about immune system. So you have macrophages. Macrophages are these, they're like, um, they're like white, they're like octopus. They have these big cells and they have all these appendages that can come out of them. However, normally they're sleep. Normally they're chill. They're mm. not doing anything. Mm. But when there is a, a pathological situation in a body, an imbalance that takes place, they get activated. How do they get activated? They get activated from your vitamin D protein. Once mm. again, here comes the sun. So vitamin D has a vitamin D protein that transfers it throughout the body. That vitamin D protein has a trisaccharide. It has three sugars attached on it. Okay, sialic acid, um, um, galactose, and then N-acetylgalactosamine. Now, you remove the sialic, uh, sialic acid, you remove the galactose, and you leave that last sugar on there. Now the vitamin D protein with that one sugar becomes a key. That key fits into a macrophage, turns it, it's up, it's awake now. It starts to patrol. Now, what is it looking for? It's looking for mechanisms that have a flag on it. That flag is called an antigen. And an antigen ain't nothing but some type of piece of a viral body, a bacteria, some type of agent that's not good for you. Your body puts that piece on it so that the macrophages can identify, oh man, this mug right here is not good for the body. Let me eat it up. So it performs something called phagocytosis. It takes its tentacles, it's like an octopus wraps around it. Phago, phago what? Phago? Phago, phago, because it's a macrophage. Macro means large. Phage mm -hmm. means to eat. Mm -hmm. So it means it's a it's a it's a cell that consumes. Mm -hmm. So phagocytosis, phag phago means to eat, cyto means cell. So it's cell eating, the consumption of cells. So when you think about lupus, when you think about multiple sclerosis, those are called what? Autoimmune diseases, mm -hmm. where your immune system, quote unquote, is turning on you because your healthy cells are getting flagged as being foreign. Mm. Yes, because of the way you're eating and because of the state the cell is in, they get flagged. So then the macrophages start eating your cells, your healthy cells. Your healthy cells. That's right. So what and was something that was good for you is now turning against you. That's right. Now, if I could back up Wait when I was talking about the vitamin D protein that has those three sugars on it, the sialic acid, as well as the, uh, the, the, the galactose sugar that gets taken off, they're removed by two of your other um, immune cells, which are called B cells and T cells, all right? The B and the T cells are part of your immune system too. Your immune system is is immense. Like I, we, we can actually talk for the next four hours. I could spend two, three hours on innate immunity, two, three hours on acquired immunity. It's that intricate. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I'm gonna keep it real simple, as simple as I can right now. But though that beta, that B cell and that T cell, those are the ones that are responsible for cleaving those sugars and turning this vitamin D protein into a key to activate your macrophages you're only going to have this vitamin D protein if you're doing what? Formulating vitamin D. You're only going to formulate vitamin D if you're out at the sun doing vitamin D hours getting ultraviolet B radiation. So that's how the sun equates to immunity. That's one of the connections right there. Mm -hmm. Now, how does the microbiome tie into immunity? When you look at 
the different groups of people, you got phenotypes, right? You got congoloid phenotype, caucasoid phenotype, mongoloid phenotype. That's white, that's Asian, that's black, right? Mm -hmm. These phenotypes are different because of their genetic makeup, which causes their body to metabolize and have certain features because Caucasians, they have the ability to be in extreme cold. They're able to express uncoupled protein one, UCP one, which allows them to go in cold water and cold environments and their mitochondria uncouple where they can end up making heat. Mm. So that's why they could jump in cold water with speedos on and we looking like, yo, how they doing that? Right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you got mongoloids that can eat a whole lot of tofu. Mm -hmm. And ain't nobody turning into no woman, ain't nobody having digestive problems or nothing because they can do that. And we have our abilities as well. Those are all the phenotypes. But when you go inside their gut, that's when you find a real difference. So inside the gut, you have a huge diversification of bacteria. Diversification similar to the diversification of animals, plants and people, nations that live on the earth. Like think of all the different type of colors of people that exist, all the different type of nations, all the tribes, you know, that exists all over the world. Think of all the animals, all the reptiles, all the mammals, all the birds. Think about all the plants, all the flowers, all the cactuses, all the ferns. There's so many. And based on the diversification of all that life creates a balanced environment. If I send you into the woods and tell you to kill all of the wolves because they eat deer, what's going to happen is the deer population will explode. They're going to be consuming all the vegetation. That's going to affect the insects. That's going to affect, it's going to throw everything off. Right, right, right. So in your gut, it's the same thing. You have a huge diversification of families of bacteria and when the diversification drop, when you start killing off different nations of bacteria and it gets simplified, you have a problem digesting your food now. You have a problem defending your body from any type of issue that might take place. So when you look at Caucasians, they have, they're dominated with a family of bacteria called firmicutes. While they have a small, amount of bacteriotides. While when you look at our people, we have a larger amount of bacteriotides and privatella while, while we have a lower amount of firmicutes. So because we have these two different gut bacterias, that's how we're, we differ in environment. So Caucasians can eat cheese and they could be in the cold. <laughs> we could be in the tropical jungle and get taught by mosquitoes and not die of malaria. Mm. Things like that. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so it also pans into the whole vitamin D thing where the Caucasians, they could stand outside 20, 30 minutes and get all the vitamin D they need for the day while we need to be outside for about an hour and a half because we're a little bit more advanced with our technology, so we need more of a charge. Mm. Now, bacteria, archaea, as well as prokaryote, their cell wall does not contain DHA, which is docosahexaenoic acid, it's an omega-3. The reason why that's important is our cells contain that, which allows us to hold light in the cell. Why is it important to hold light? Because if you can't hold light in the cell, it's going to escape. And if all the light escapes, then you have nothing for signaling, you have nothing for nutrients, you have nothing to get all the chemical reactions done properly. So when bacteria are inside of our gut and our gut gets exposed, you spoke earlier about the, the, the organ in the gut that you know they discovered or finally added to the rest of the organs. It's called the mesocentry. The mesocentry has a collection of photoreceptors up in there. When your gut is exposed to the sun, 
like crop tops and scrimmaging. Like y'all ever wonder why when you play football and soccer and everything like that, you know, out, outside, they give you those mesh shirts that are cut, you know, above your, above your chest because, I mean, above your, your belly button because the mesh shirt allows sun penetration and then the crop top allows the sun to hit the gut and you absorb all of that light and that light goes straight into your gut to those bacteria. Now, when you eat the food, the food is nothing but a blueprint of the area that it grew in. The same way you go inside a store and you get a, a fruit or a vegetable that has a barcode on it. And you could take that fruit and they scan that bad boy and you look at the screen and it says orange, three for a dollar. All your food is a barcode for a sun. And when you consume it and the bacteria get to it, they scan with the light, just like you do in the supermarket. They scan the food and it tells it, ah, oh, this mug is from Costa Rica. Wait, yeah. we just got sun from Detroit. Okay, something ain't right here. So now it's confusion. Woo. That's yeah. what you call circadian mismatch. You was tell you 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 brought this up in the video that we lost, the um interview that we lost, you brought this up. That's right. So wait, so hold, hold on, KT, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is some. This is some weird shit you saying right now, KT. So say everybody goes on vacation, brother. So say, all right, now my, my girl, my girl is half Jamaican. That's right. So we in Jamaica, I'm eating some fruit in Jamaica. You gonna no. tell me my body's gonna be confused by the no. fruit? No, because you're in Jamaica, you're getting exposed to the Jamaican sun. But if I get it imported- the Jamaican fruit. But if I get it imported to New York, it's a difference, but oh. with, with, with black people, it's a little different because it's where the microbiome comes in because it's related to our mitochondria. That's why it all matters where you come from. So like my mother comes from the Caribbean, right? She comes mm -hmm. from um, um, the Virgin Islands um, as well mm -hmm. as Antigua. Mm -hmm. So even though I might not be in that area, my body, my genetics, is connected to that area so it can identify those fruits. Mm -hmm. And if I'm getting long hours of solar exposure, that's gonna help me with those carbohydrates because carbohydrates grow in long solar cycles. Bananas don't grow in the wintertime, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mangoes don't grow in the wintertime. Mangoes grow where there's 12 to 14 hours of sunlight. Why does it grow in those hours? Because you need that amount of stimulation in order for you to properly break down and utilize those carbohydrates inherent in that food. So if you're not getting enough sun and you're eating all that stuff and you hid it inside of a cubicle getting beamed by all this light, that's how um, a person can be vegan, right? Oh man, I know somebody who vegan and they big. I know somebody who vegan, they got diabetes. I got, I know somebody who vegan and they da, 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 da. because there's another part to the equation and it's the solar stimulation. Mm. So the, the bacteria, as I was saying before, got cell walls, they don't have DHA, they're not able to trap light. They're, the light gets secreted. And the light that they emit in the gut is a signaling mechanism to all the other bacteria. They're communicating. Now, this term I'm about to present is a term that was introduced to the community by Inky and it's called horizontal gene transfer. Horizontal gene transfer is a process where I could be, I'm a bacteria, there's another bacteria over there. I have the gene to be able to break something down that other bacteria doesn't have the gene and the cell that that bacteria is next to needs this particular type of protein or enzyme or whatever to do its work, I can transfer my genetics laterally, just like in football, how they do a lateral pass. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called horizontal gene, vertical gene transfer is us having sex and having babies. Lateral or horizontal gene, he could pass it. 
So you got bacteria in your gut that pass their genes over to other bacteria and then they take it incorporated into them. Now they can start kicking off certain enzymes and proteins. So, so is that why they say energy is contagious, KT? Oh, energy is definitely contagious. Like, like, I would say more, this is how Super Bowls are created. KT, because they, all on the internet, they say, you know, prosperity is a big thing on the internet now. And they say, if you all, you who your friends are, and if you tell, if four of your friends are rich, then most likely you're going to be rich. Or four of your friends are crooks, then most likely you will oh, turn into a crook. Yeah, That's like minds, thing. of course, resonance. Most definitely resonance. If you if you want to become a millionaire, billionaire, somebody successful, you got to surround yourself with successful people. So, some know? of the bacteria, some of the bacteria is going to come, come on. Listen, you perform horizontal gene transfer with your life, bro. Like, come on now. Like, you telling me when we with a, a, when we with our mate for years on end, we don't start favoring one another. Yeah. We don't start it's sound special, like one another. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I got a thing with my wife. I'm gonna put it out there. When she got to use the bathroom, I'll be happy to use the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might get up and got to go use the bathroom. Next thing you know, she get up, she got to go. Because you kind of, you get entangled. You know what I'm saying? Your, your atoms get entangled, your vibration, your aura gets entangled, and y'all kind of become like a binary star system where you might not be the same thing, but you're complements of one another, you know? But the bacteria has the ability to share you know what I'm saying? It's almost like, it's like if you got a million dollars and this person over there only got a hundred dollars, you able to give them a bunch of money so that they can use that money and invest and they could get up like you. This is what the bacteria is doing in the gut. Now, there's a gut brain axis by way of the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve connects your brain to your gut. All right. They say that's the super highway for, um, for the nervous system, right? That's right. That's right. Parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system. This is why they say that your gut is your lower brain because this vagus nerve, you can have bacteria that can pretty much use that highway to get to your brain. So this is how you can eat the wrong foods or be in certain situations that deal with your gut and your brain gets affected or vice versa. You have mental issues and now you got Crohn's disease. Now you got leaky gut. What is leaky gut? Leaky gut and Crohn's deal with situations where your, your enterocytes, which are cells that make up your intestines, they're tightly packed together. They tight. But what ends up happening is with leaky gut, they open up and now there's a space. Because there's a space, those bacteria that's supposed to just stay inside of the intestines slip in between that that gap and they get underneath those cells in areas they're not supposed to be and that causes a whole lot of inflammation now macrophages they want to get there to try and go after it if you got a bunch of macrophages chasing bacteria that's swelling that's heat now you got to bring water now you got this whole problem going on now do you know what the space of the gut is called like, like, you know, if, if you can liken the intestine to a tube, do you know what the inside of the tube is called? What? The lumen. Mm. Like, illuminate, like luminous. Mm -hmm. Why would they call a dark space in your gut the lumen? Unless it was an area that processed light. Mm. Damn, brother. So... Your microbiome is a a a a photo a photo um um analyzing hardware system, and what it does is your you you have something called a leptin receptor in your brain. Okay, it's inside of your hypothalamus. Okay, the leptin receptor is connected to a molecule called leptin. Leptin, I mentioned this before, is your satiation molecule. This is your molecule of satisfaction. This is how you know you've eaten enough, you've gotten all your food. What does eating enough even mean? Eating enough means that you've gotten your electron number up. 
because we're every everything with us is about electrons. That's what alkalinity is. That's what Sadie said. Yo, alkaline, 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 because acidic means you're giving electrons away. That's what people. That's what people who sick do. They're leaking. They're, they sprung a leak. They have a short in their wires. They're spilling out current. To be alkaline, to be empowered, you want to consume electrons. You want to eat electrons. Leptin is a molecule that deals with satiation. Leptin resistance is an issue where you are not able to be satisfied. So it's like you have a hole in the bottom of a bucket. You keep pouring things in to fill it up and it keeps leaking back out. So K KT, um, that just made me think. So what is it about, sometimes they say people could eat healthy food, <clears throat> like say, because of the coronavirus. I say, I want to improve my immune system. They say you could eat healthy food. Say I eat three apples, some dates, some um, 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 Brazil nuts. I'm doing everything, but they're saying, certain bacteria could steal the nutrients and you don't get it? Mm -hmm. what, what, what process, well, what's happening there? Because some people say they eat healthy and don't shit happen to them. And they're like, KT's products is full of shit or this person's products is full of shit or their advice is full of shit because I don't feel better. So what, right. what's going on with them that they not getting it? What, what's happening? Like I said, which is, which is the message that always gets ignored that I put out there. Food only represents one third of your nutritional needs. Two thirds is the sun. If you're not stimulate, like how are you gonna cook a meal if you don't turn on the flame? You got all the ingredients. You got your olive oil, you got your thyme, you got your cumin, you got, I don't know, your beans, you know what I'm saying? You got the pot, you got the spoon, you got everything you need. Mm -hmm. But you ain't turned on the fire. Mm -hmm. How you gonna cook your dish? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, what you talking about, brother Rich? I went to KT. I got my cumin. I went to da 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 da. I got my rice. I got my beans over here. I got my olive oil over here. I went and got my pot from old boy. I got I got my stove. I got everything. I put everything in the pot. I'm mixing it up. Why it ain't cooked, Rich? Why it ain't cooked? Mm -hmm. Because none of that shit matter if you don't turn on the fire. So people are not getting sun. They're in, we're inside right now. I'm cooking under a light. I'm in front of a screen. You know, it's, it's what? It's 11 o'clock. I'm supposed to be in bed sleeping because 10 o'clock is when melatonin production spikes. Mm. And, and melatonin, Melatonin is everything to do with your immune system as well. That's why blue light and all of the frequencies become a problem because when your melanopsin protein in your eyes and that's in your skin gets affected, now your melatonin production gets affected. If you're not producing melatonin, you're not gonna sleep even night. And you're not gonna be able to use that melatonin in order to ignite certain aspects of your immune system to work and be on point. So then when I get up in the morning, I'm not rested. I'm not rejuvenated. It's almost like I stayed up all night and worked a double shift. And now I have to get up and literally go work a double shift again. Where's my state of mind going to be at? I'm going to be irritable. I'm not even going to be hungry. And if I eat when I'm angry, I'm going to be in a whole nother state. Mm -hmm. Everything goes back to the sun. There's, there is no reason why. These people of antiquity would build giant structures mm -hmm. with the sun, the size of freaking spaceships, reaching down, feeding us onks. I don't care if you go to Vishnu. I don't care if you go to the Maya, the Olmec, the, 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 the Shaka Zulu. I don't care where you go. Every single tribe on this planet paid homage to the sun because they understood the importance of it. Once again, I'll give you another example. You got the best soil in the world. You got the best heirloom seeds. You got superstruction water. Plant all that, get it all out there. If the sun don't come up, you ain't getting no growth. Mm because you are a photovoltaic
being, woo, photovoltaic being. Our skin is a solar cell that has to be exposed. The more of it that's exposed, the more it gets stimulated, the more healing you get. That thing, that sun starts hitting that. Why do you think we got a navel right there? That's like a bullseye telling you, yo, put that in the sun. Show that to the sun. That sun is going to penetrate through it. If you get inf- a near-infrared bulb, you want to get 810 nanometers because that's the, that's the frequency that penetrates deeply. It's going to get into your tissue. Why do you want infrared to get deep inside your tissue? Because your mitochondria, which is also a bacteria that you stole a long time ago, inside this electron transport chain on cytochrome 4, cytochrome oxidase, got four chromophores. Two of them is heme, which is iron. The other two is copper. And what happens when you when you have iron and copper um, um, chromophores inside of this enzyme? Infrared hits it, and what starts to happen? The ATP synthase enzyme starts to spin. You start making ATP. The cytochrome oxidase starts producing water. A lot of people don't even realize that we have, that we create water. We're actually water generators. We're clouds. Our mitochondria makes water all day long. And you can make water just stimulating yourself with infrared light. The sun is 42% infrared light. Steadily hitting us with everything we need. So the microbiome, right, is something that we get as a gift from our mother. When we're birthed through the birth canal, we're enveloped in her, we come out her vagina, her vagina kind of saran wraps our entire body with bacteria. So the, that's the why that catches that's, us, huh? That's why you kept stressing the um, probiotics to me. Well, this, the, this, is the, the whole pro, this is the difference between prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics is the foods that are fed to existing bacteria to encourage diversification and the nationhood of bacteria inside your gut. Give me an example, a prebiotic, give me an example. Baobab powder. That's pre, that's prebiotic. That's a prebiotic. Sea moss is a prebiotic. Baobab powder is a prebiotic. Psyllium husk is a prebiotic. Uh, Gum acacia is a prebiotic. Um, All of those mechanisms. Now probiotic. Probiotic would be like kimchi, kombucha, yogurt, um, kefir. These are these are dairy. Most of these are dairy items, curdled that are that are inundated with bacteria. Live cultures of bacteria, lactobacillus. Right. So what happens is you eat these, 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 the, these dairy or whatever, the kombucha, the kefir, uh, um, um, the kimchi. And what happens is the bacteria is in those items. These fermented foods, shoot pickles, the, the sauerkraut, you know, when you eat them, the bacteria is already in the food. So then when you eat it and it goes in your gut, what you're doing is you're bringing in a colony of pilgrims to a, to a new world mm. to settle mm. on the coast where indigenous people have already been living for millions of years. So the pilgrims come up on the coast and they like, yo, we about to, we about to settle this in the name of the queen. We, we about to grow some stuff. Yo, we got some Indians over here. Yo, y'all gonna have to like move out the way we up in this piece now. The indigenous people is like, bruh, like we been here. Like, nah, y'all ain't just about to come up here and just strong on. And the same shit that happened in our history is now happening in our gut. Woo! As within, so without. That's right, inner space. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Man. Raping and pillaging going on. There's, there's new strands of DNA, everything. You got mixed mulattoes and all types getting created now. Shit. So I've never been anybody that promotes probiotic. I'm not a probiotic person. 
People want to push yogurt. People want to push kefir and and kombucha and all. They they had it because you already have everything you need in your gut. You just have to feed them properly and you have to stimulate them properly. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you feed them what they need, they will diversify, they will grow, they will develop, all right? Because you, just like you have a human genome and you have, oh, you have a nuclear genome, which everybody knows, that's based on your cell and your nucleus, that's the nuclear genome. Then you have your mitochondrial genome, which is based on your mitochondria, but you also have a microbiome or a bacterial genome which is imagine your DNA deconstructed. Like it's not no one strand in all of your cells. It's, it's a strand spread about over billions of bacteria throughout your body, which means they can regenerate, they can grow, they can develop, they can, they can keep going. You just have to give them what they need in order for that to happen. And that's what the prebiotics are for. That's why Baobab is, is everything, look, I just did a presentation on hydroxychloroquine, which is the drug that Trump said, oh, it's going to be a game changer for coronavirus. And I talked about the 500 year history of quinine and that it's the sole herb that allowed Europeans to colonize the world. Mm. It's the main herb that did that. Now, gin and tonic which is a very popular drink upon, uh, amongst Europeans, is a mixture of quinine, or tonic water rather, with gin. Gin is, is flavored with juniper berries, and you'll find a lot of gin flavored with baobab. Winston Churchill said gin and tonic has healed more Englishmen than all the doctors in history. I'm gonna give you an example right now, Rich, about what I'm talking about, about light. Mm -hmm. When you eat plants, when you eat these herbs, when you eat these natural substances, they contain inside molecules called polyphenols. Poly means many, phen, P-H-E-N-E -E, means to illuminate. These aromatic rings, these phenols can trap light. They can absorb light and they can emit light and they use it as a signal. So this right here is tonic water, okay? Tonic water. Okay. This is a carbonated beverage that contains quinine in here. This is the same substance that is the basis of the drug that they're pushing right now to cure COVID-19. This is why Caucasians was able to take over the world was because of the substance in this water right here. Because when they tried to penetrate tropical regions, they got burnt by the UV, they got murked by the mosquitoes and every other issue that went on in them jungles. But it wasn't until they found this herb was they able to penetrate the jungles and the rainforests and the swamps to take control of the land. Now, an aromatic ring or a phenol has the ability to absorb light, hold light, and then fluoresce a light in response to it. So for instance, the visible spectrum goes from um, like 700 nanometers to like 300 nanometers. That's infrared to ultraviolet. These aromatic rings absorb ultraviolet light. And what happens is that ultraviolet light excites the electrons that make it up, which causes the electrons in this excited state to jump to an excited state, to a higher state. Now, after it jumps to that state, it drops back down. When it drops back down to its ground state, it emits light. I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna hit this light with UV. You can see that, right? Mm -hmm. That's you, that's a UV flashlight right there. See that purple, right? You can see it, right, Rich? Yes. When I hit this water, this quinin is gonna turn blue.
Look at that. You see that? Yeah. It's blue because it's fluorescing. All of the molecules of the quinine in here, those aromatic rings are absorbing and soaking up that UV light, ex getting excited. And as it drops back down to its ground state, it is releasing blue light about 450 nanometers as a result of that. This is what Caucasians were putting in their body to penetrate high UV areas. Mm. And now they're pushing that as the main drug to get rid of COVID-19. Family, I, on, on, let, let's take a break. Make sure y'all hit up the Cash App, show support. <laughs> Where else you gonna get this information? 11, let KT take a water break, man. 11.20 at night on a Tuesday. Do y'all see what this brother's bringing to the channel? I mean, I'm happy, man. I mean, this is Black Magic 363. Shout out to all the supporters, all the Patreons. Um, you know, everybody that's participating in the pad in the fast. Man, I, yeah, I mean, KT, man, that wow, that was amazing, man. That was I mean, y'all can do, y'all can all do that experiment y'all self at home. The only thing y'all gotta do is get a bottle of tonic water from the supermarket and get a UV a UV light. You could get a UV lamp at the pet store for like lizards and stuff, or you could like go on Amazon and actually get like a, a flashlight type like this, you know? Oh, so you KT, do they don't want, they pretty much don't want anybody, you think, oh man. They don't want anybody else going in outside into the sun until everybody starts taking that, that hydra um, chlor or whatever you're talking about? No, 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 no. My thing is they're not even, stopping anybody from going into sun rich the lockdown that that they have instituted if people look it up and and look up the particulars of what the policy or the the, the uh yeah the policies are for what the lockdown is in your area it does not include outside they'll they'll you'll see the list they encourage ride your bike walk your dog go to the park you can do all that stuff People are just assuming that they have to stay indoors in their home with their doors locked, their blinds down, binging on Netflix all day, or going on, on Instagram Live for 20 hours straight or something like that. And what's going to happen is that extreme um, lack of sunshine and the switch from a natural form of light to an alien form of light is going to be the thing that compromises the immune system so that that broken down immune system will allow anything to affect you. You know, you know, KT, I had um, some issues a couple of years ago when I really started getting heavy with the YouTube. Um, I would sleep a lot during the daytime. I would work at night. I barely got any sun and I was constantly sitting at my desk, shout out to um, Naya Mani for the donation on Cash App. And I would just sit at my desk constantly doing work on the computer and I started to um, have like, like back pain or something like that, um, lower back pain. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to the doctor to see what was going on. They told me I was vitamin D deficient. Huh. I, think, I think I brought this up to you. And, um, and this is like four years ago, four or five years ago in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck does the sun got to do with my back hurting? Like this is my back, nigga. Like I'm not what the sun got to do with that. But our lifestyle, because we're always on the computer and we're always sitting down, we don't get out as much as we're supposed to. So I know I definitely understand what you're talking about, my brother. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we definitely vitamin D deficient. And just to give you an understanding that a lot of black people are actually mixed misdiagnosed with vitamin D deficiency. Yeah. And let me explain yeah. how they do that. So Caucasians, they can go outside for shorter periods of time and hit their vitamin D number, right? We have to go outside and we have to stay out longer. Now, what is vi what does vitamin D assist with? It assists with the absorption and the movement and the regulation of calcium inside the body. Calcium is a mineral, pretty much a metallic mineral that is our current. It's kind of like an electrical particle that we utilize in order 
to make things work, such as contracting muscles and signaling and things like that. Well, it's difficult to say that somebody of color is vitamin D deficient because what Western medicine does not take into account is the fact that we have denser bones. We got denser bones. So what that means is we got more calcium. We have a greater reserve of calcium than a Caucasian has. So a Caucasian needs to get that vitamin D because they have a lessened, a lessened amount of calcium to work with, meaning that the two cells that you have on your bone, osteoclast, osteoblast. Osteoclast breaks bone down, releases the broken bone with your ions into the blood, while osteoblast takes those ions and builds up new bone. Their, their ratio and balance with that is real tight because they have bones that are less dense. Because we have greater density and more mass with our bones, that means we got a bigger bank. Mm. Our bank account is more. While they might have a million in the bank, we got a quadrillion in the bank. Mm. So we got more to work with. And because we got more to work with, they don't take that into account. So they automatically say vitamin D deficiency. You know? Mm. So the reason why people that don't get enough sun and people that have a very acidic lifestyle will have osteoporosis or bone issues is because when the osteoclast breaks your bones down and releases those ions into the bloodstream, that's to alkalize the blood. Now people are arguing and say, the blood doesn't drop too low. If it drops too low, you'll die. It can't raise too high, I'll die. Exactly my point. It never does because your body has a system that releases the calcium to keep that shit steady and in that narrow window. But what you're not taking in consideration is because of all the acidity, how much calcium is it dissolving to release in the blood to keep it steady? Mm. And as it's dissolving all of that bone at a greater rate, then bone is getting put back into, I mean, calcium is getting put back into, meaning let's think about the bank. If you're steadily spending the money quicker than you're making the money to put back in your account, eventually you're not going to have quadrillions of dollars no more. You're probably going to have a milli just like them. Maybe you'll be a thousandaire. Maybe you'll have a solid buck. <laughs> and then you trip on a curb and you break your hip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It all ties back to the whole acid and the alkaline situation. It goes back to that. Okay, um, KT, so once again, thanks for everybody in the chat, KT. We, we got about, we almost got about 1,500 people. I appreciate y'all being with us oh, that's on, the, you know, on this Tuesday night, man. Like I said, once again, thanks, thank you to everybody who participated in the fast. It was absolutely amazing, life-changing for myself and my family, and very, um, it helped me out with my confidence with everything going on. It made me feel good. It made me feel secure. It made me... You know, KT Seamoss is the shit, man. I don't know if it's sold out or not. <laughs> KT Seamoss is the shit, man. After this show, I'm going to go drink some tea. I, I drink it twice a day. Um, okay. Still water, like you said. Mm -hmm. I got it in the morning and the night. I don't have Wait, what, what water did Valentine suggest? The still. Ah. You know, real quick, I'm going to side note. Now, you know what? I'm not going to let them throw me off my my. Anyway, so let me, let me just stick to my point. Um. Gotcha. The sea moss made me stop having certain cravings. What I want to talk to you about is that a lot of people, when they try to diet, the voices in their head, the cravings, it just get to be too much, KT. You going oh, yeah. fast. Yeah, I just, you I feel like, you might feel like you're about to die, KT, if you fast for two days. They say, some people say the parasites start talking to you. People are used to it, and people might not understand. They say, well, how does a parasite or bacteria talk to me? If somebody talks to you, you're used to the language. Like they say, well, God talked to me. They want, they want an entity to talk to them in a specific language. So how does the bacteria relate what they have to say to, in your mind, you start thinking about a burger at 2 in the morning, you're thinking about fries, you're thinking about a shake, you're thinking about all this crazy shit that you wasn't thinking about before, how does the bacteria make you think about these things? All right, so 
when you sit down and you watch a TV, you watching TV, right? Let's say, um, let's say we watching a Sabi um, uh, video on YouTube, right? Yeah. When you turn on the TV, Sabi's on the screen talking to you, right? Yeah. Is he in the TV? No. You sure? Because he sure is on that TV. You sure he ain't in there somewhere <laughs> in the background? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. No, what it is, is it's sick electromagnetic signals mm -hmm. that come into the television and they hit, they hit the pixels mm -hmm. and there's all these little color pixels that light up and mm -hmm. your body interprets those pixels and puts it back together. Now you see an image and that image you recognize and now you can look the, at the movement of that image and now you can, ah, oh, that's Sabi. Mm -hmm. So bacteria secrete chemicals. Your nerve is chemicals. You have neurotransmitters. You got um, dopamine. You got adrenaline. You got beta endorphins. You know what I'm saying? You got um, lactic acid. You got sulfuric acid. You got all these chemicals that get secreted and passed around. So it's not, it's not that the bacteria is literally at the bar like, yo, you get yourself a burger, son. You know what I mean? It ain't that. It's the fact that the 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 pathogenic bacteria knows that it will thrive in a certain environment, and that environment is based on chemicals that are secreted. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that bacteria then talks to your nerves through chemicals and through light, right? Manipulating mm -hmm. you, telling you, look, these are the chemicals I need. That signal rearranges that recipe of chemicals that translate into a whopper. Woo, shit. Hold up, KT, KT, no, I need a thorough breakdown. So, all right, so the chemicals is going on in your gut, right? Yes, this, this, the gut to the brain, what? vagus nerve, vagus nerve. I was nerve. just about to say, so Remember. it goes up to your brain through the vagus nerve. Yes. Your brain takes that, so just like the television, it takes the electromagnetic signals and it pixelates it into like a, a image in your mind of a WAPA or some shit like that. That's right. Cause remember, think about dopamine. Dopamine is a reward molecule. And with having dopamine, it creates motivation because reward is never anything that you appreciate unless you work for it. If you know you cheated on a test and you got a hundred and then the principal and the mayor come out and all that type, you gonna feel like shit. Cause you know, you did not work hard to deserve that grade. So people that get gold medals and people that get championship rings and trophies, right? The reason why they cry, you ever see these basketball players after these finals, bro? Emotion. They crying. Emotion. Why? Because of the dopamine being released based on the motivation to do the work so that they can receive the reward. Now, what's the reward with a rapper? It's an experience through your taste buds. You tasting the salt, you tasting the sweet, the bread, you know what I'm saying? The way the, 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 the meat got charbroiled. You know, you smelling it, you going through this whole thing in your mind. It's almost like you might not have made love to your woman in, in a little bit. And the, the time's coming up where she, and you imagine you seeing her and her, her panties and her thong and everything. And you just get worked up all in your mind. So that's what's going on. It's, it's a manipulation of all of your neurotransmitters. You see what I'm saying? Getting you to be addicted to something the same way you can get addicted to heroin, the same way you could get addicted to cocaine. Except once you get this thing, just like cocaine, you always chasing that first high, it never satisfies you. Mm. And only thing you've done is you fed those bacteria that was like, yo, I needed this. <laughs> they like, they like, I got you again, nigga. They like, I got you. And look, lots of times people feel like crap afterwards. They right like, after. man, I shouldn't have ate that burger. 
It happened to Why? me. It happened to me endless times, man. Because they they detach from the nerves at that point. They stop pumping you up. Woo! They stop yeah. juicing. They like, I got it. The motherfuckers use me, man. You know, you know how men say a whole lot of things to women just to get them drawers. Yeah, and well, if they did. bust one, they out. Same thing. Yes. Oh, these these motherfuckers done. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yo, so KT, check it out. Check it out. So now this is some interesting shit here. Great conversation, my brother. What I want to ask you is the same way these, these parasites could trick you into getting some food that's, uh, that will benefit it. Can they trick you into having sex with a toxic person? So they could feed off the bacteria that toxic person. Oh, most definitely. So that's why sometimes you fuck somebody and you like after you fuck them, you're like, oh shit, I shouldn't have. I should have never done I, that. I should have never. Damn. Oh man, these are some tricky little bastards, KT. Yes. Oh. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like you started this whole conversation with the whole inner space thing. That's why you gotta take more control of what goes on with inside you where you're not just reactionary. You don't want to just be a reactor. Uh, uh, Phil Valentine always talked about, we judge too much. We react too much. We're supposed to be observers. If you spent that same energy observing that woman or that woman observing that man, then you'll see things about them, mannerisms, things they're saying, maybe their smell, their scent, how they walk, talk. They, they'll get the vibe and they'll be like, nah, I'm good. But see, if you're reactionary, you can get caught up. Right. You know, and then you know, like minds too, you attract what's yeah. like to you. So there's there's probably a toxic part of you that has an affinity for the toxic part of her. And then two toxic people come together. But once that toxicity does what it has to do and you separate yourself from it, you like, man, I shouldn't have, damn, I gotta get this up out of me. KT, I want you, I was going to save questions for a little later, but I see somebody wrote, I just took a look at the chat, and I want to get your, take your um, response to this. Somebody wrote, parasites can't trick the individual your mind can. So respond to that real quick, because um, this is where a lot of people get fooled into the, the, the gut and the mind connection. So could you respond just real quick, KT? What did they say exactly now? Parasites can't fool the, the person, only your mind can fool you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it manipulates your mind. It manipulates your mind, and you right. remember, we we a robot, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we a robot. You know, the mind, the heart, the spirit, the soul. These are the things. The different bodies, the causal bodies, like how you were speaking, the emotional body, the physical body, the spiritual body. These are the things that animate it. Okay, so my thing is. If you're, if you're toxic already, you have already compromised a part of yourself. So it's you. It ain't the, listen, the bacteria ain't outside of you, bro. So for the person who's saying that, like, what are you talking about? The bacteria is you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's connecting to your mind state, which in connecting with your mind state is going to influence your actions. Now, there's this thing called mind over matter, which means, yeah, if you are not being reactionary and you're being more observant and you're taking your time and reflecting, you could feel the tug of what that's going on. And you could make the conscious decision. I don't need that whopper. That's why we have, that's our main superpower. We don't need to shoot lasers through our eyes and fly and walk through walls. We got will. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got choice. We can say yes, we can say no. But sometimes that, yes, we, we think we really want that thing. But we have to take more time, introspect, and be able to be like, you know what? I want that Whopper. It's like 2 o'clock right now. I, it's too late. I got to get up. Let me just go to sleep. And you'll get up in the morning. You ain't going to think about no Whopper. You ain't going to be hungry. It's going to be a brand new day. You start over now, you know? But these cravings come from, like I said, left in resistance. I'm giving y'all the chemical keys, bro. You got your eyes, you got your retina, you have your super chiasmatic nucleus behind them. That's your biological clock. Hypothalamus, arc to it nucleus, inside of arc to it nucleus, left in receptor. 
Leptin represents satiation and satisfaction. Blue light destroys all that shit. Which means if you don't know what satisfaction is, then you're going to always looking for something to scratch your itch. Anything, a whopper, some ice cream, a woman, a drug, bullying somebody, vampiring somebody's energy, being petty, trolling. All of these things are mechanisms to be able to try and fulfill this goddamn void because you got a hole in your pocket called leptin resistance. Mm. And you got to fix that by fixing your life. See, everybody's asking the wrong questions, bro. They, they, people want to pump up and act like they know certain things. And I'm like, no, you don't, because I'm not hearing the questions yet. The question is about light. This is a light situation. We light bodies. Ain't that what we say? Yes, Do sir. we say we body bodies? Do we say we whopper bodies? Do we say we bacteria bodies? Do we say we food bodies? No, we don't say any of that. We say we light bodies. We say we saw people. We say we children of the sun. These are the words we use. Yet we do not pay attention to the fact that all of those statements have everything to do with photovoltaics and the fact that light influences all. Until we get down to the plank link, then it's all about darkness. But that's another conversation. Man, listen, man, KT, this has been an amazing show tonight, man. This has been an amazing show, family. So real quick, antibiotics. Yeah. I wrote a couple little things down so I don't forget these. Okay. This is the problem with antibiotics. What does antibiotics do? They destroy the microbiome. That's what they do. And that's why people who take antibiotics always have bad reactions and their immune system goes to shit because they pretty much are sending in a uh the, like the expendables you know with, with, with sylvester stallone and wesley snipes and all of them they sit in this big pack of old school renegade 1990 commandos with a thousand machine guns and gatling guns and bombs and grenades and going straight for the microbiome and killing all these bacteria off uh creating a less diversified microbiome this is what antibiotics do. You don't need antibiotics, okay? You don't need that. You got to let that shit go. Now, when it go, when it with, with, with the whole light thing, what the light does, what the fasting does, is it stimulates autophagy, okay? Autophagy. Autophagy is, once again, to go that phagy word again, like with macrophage, bacteria phage. Phage deals with phagocytosis. It deals with eating, eating, eating. So autophagy or autophagy deals with self-eating. Self-eating what? Self-eating all of the trash, okay? Because if you are steadily working every day of the year, double time, overtime, picking the kids up from school, going to the, the plays and going to the games and support that and that, and you never get time for yourself. You got this little uh, project that you're trying to do in your garage. You never get to it. It just sits there one month, three months, six months, nine months. Autophagy is a situation where when you're fasting or with the proper stimulations of light, the body then is able to go through and start kind of like polishing off all the corners everywhere, taking care of all the little things that has been getting ignored and has been piling up. Store, uh, stored toxins in the tissues, compromised plasma, compromised red blood cells, mutations in the DNA overgrowth of candida, all of this stuff that's getting out of control because there's been more pressing issues that you've been focused on, like fight or flight, like being goddamn scared or getting beamed and getting shot at or getting snapped on and not getting no sleep. All of these things prevent you from being able to perform something like autophagy. All right. So what happens when melanopsin, melatonin ends up getting sacrificed, ends up getting compromised, it, it, it deals with 
messing with that whole cycle of autophagy and apoptosis, which is programmed cell death. Because when a cell has been compromised and there's nothing left to do with it, you'll blow it up and it turns into a bunch of vesicles that contain little parts and then your body can take up those parts and recycle them and whatever's waste can go through the urine and go through the feces. So autophagy, apoptosis, melanopsin, melatonin, melanin. These are all terms y'all need to get familiar with. When you look at them, see, I love looking at molecular structures because design denotes function. Mm -hmm. So if you look at molecular structures, mm -hmm. you'll start to see commonalities amongst them, such as the, um, the benzene ring, the aromatic ring with the double bonds in it. Once you see that, you know that that thing has everything to do with light because that's what that mechanism is there for. It's there to, to track light inside of it. And then it takes that light, that high frequency light, that energy, and it's able to now dish out whatever frequencies are necessary for the body. Because ultraviolet light is a higher frequency, even though it's a smaller number, 300 nanometers. The reason why it's, it's a smaller number is because the frequency is smaller. Smaller means more tightly packed. More tightly packed means more information stored. While a radio wave is bigger and there's less information stored on there. So if I take that high frequency that has all that storage on it and I'm able to stretch it out, manipulate it, slice it up, not to pull yellow out and green out and blue out and orange out and red out. And I can use those colors to do things with them. This is why, you know, it's so important that we get our sun, that we get our visible spectrum. I can't stress it enough. I mean, people talk about Jesus in the Bible. That whole thing is about the sun, bro. The sun of yeah. God. It, 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 come on now. Candles and, and lights and stars. You know what I'm saying? You, you go into Kemet. It's all about sun. Like, we have to get back to mm -hmm. it. Matter of fact, in Kemet, most of the deities got a sun sitting on their head. Like, how in your face can you be, bro? <laughs> They got this shit sitting on there like a baseball cap. Like, bro, bro, like, I know y'all looking at me and y'all think I'm dope, but look what I got on my crown, though. Mm. This is what's dope to me. The head cat name is Ra. Sun symbol, solar. Like, come on, y'all. Yeah, man. I mean, it is what it is, man. Wow. So, yeah, immune system has everything to do with solar stimulation, vitamin D, breath, breathing. You know, everybody around here wearing masks. I'm like, bro, mask ain't going to protect you from 5G. Okay? It's just not. And what a mask is going to do by covering your nose and your mouth like this is... I can't breathe. Mm. So I already suffering from hypoxia. Shit. Now I got a mask on. Future said, Big Pharma, mask off. Molly Percocet. He said, mask off. Go watch that video again and see that we are not in the same state as that video with Future right now. He said, take the mask off. <laughs> Because when you got it on like this, look, you can't breathe. You are not gonna inhale the amount of necessary oxygen you need to fill them lungs. You are not gonna give your mitochondria the oxygen it needs in order to make the water, in order to make the ATP. Oxygen is also a combustor. You cannot make fire without oxygen present. So all the combustion that takes place with inside the cell to release all that energy, how are you going to do it with no oxygen? So we're dealing with a state of induced hypoxia, which is suffocation. You know, you see movies where a dude assassinated a cat, he throw a plastic bag on his head. And <gasps> That's what's going on. Mm. So you got to get more oxygen in your life. Um, KT, um, 
Uh, first, I want to thank the individuals who have donated to the Cash App, Autumn, Boss, Kevin, Huma. It means a lot for me to uh, do a broadcast like this and invite KT and have a sophisticated conversation, sophisticated but fun and down to earth and something that everybody, you know, could just vibe to. But and we're getting educated at the same time. This is what life and learning is all about. So I definitely want to thank KT for coming on here. I want to make sure everybody support this gentleman's website. Uh, give him your website, uh, KT. KTTheArchDegree.net. KTTheArchDegree.net. The cash app is dollar sign K-A-M-A-N-I, capital letter T, capital letter T, Kamani T. Um, so yeah, right now we got, we got a few items on the site because like I said, when I get to a certain point, I got to focus on getting orders out. I shut certain things down so that I could focus on getting things out. So you're going to see C3 on there. You're going to see Salvation on there. Um, I'm about to actually introduce, I think, I think it's five new products are about to drop real soon. So as soon as I get everybody's orders out, get caught up with that, I'm going to drop those. So stay tuned to the site for that. Uh, one, one last question, KT. You talked about the sun so much during this interview yeah so um we're light beings yes now, when, when we think about the sun a lot of people think about a fiery ball they think about fire they think about heat and he talked about how beneficial the sun is to us mm -hmm. what about and you talked about the artificial light that we have in our house what about candles like what if i have like a bunch of candles in my home how do candles impact myself my melanin my skin my cells, my psyche, all of yeah. that. Okay. Very good question. So when the sun first comes up, it, it's it's a when when you see the sun transversing through the sky, it changes its color temperature. Yes. Um when you look at your screen on your phone and on the computers, there's a certain color temperature, all right? A color that has a temperature to it. So the sun when it first comes up, I think is like 1800 Kelvin. By the time it gets to like 2 p.m. at its brightest, it's like it's like 52 or 5,500 Kelvin and it keeps increasing until it sets. Your phones be like 7,500 Kelvin, like 8,000 Kelvin. Like that shit is like super, super strong. Wow. LED lights also um, have a very strong color temperature and they have a blue spike, meaning that not only is it an artificial blue light, but it's like a pulse of blue light smacking you like this, right? Then your computer also has flicker where it's strobing. If you don't believe me, then what I want you to do is look at any movie that has the camera on the TV screen in the film and you'll notice that the computer, I mean that the screen is, is strobing and flickering. And you don't even notice that when you're looking at your screen because the camera's picking it up. That's that flicker effect and that affects you too. Candles and incandescent bulbs are like 2,500 Kelvin. So it's similar to the sun like mid morning. So mm -hmm. it's mainly infrared. Think about it. A candle is warming light. You know what I mean? You feel it. And the spiritual ramifications of candles is, is so in-depth that I would never deter anybody from not using a candle. You know what I'm saying? So at nighttime, when you do need light around to read a book or to do work, shoot, if you can get a bunch of candles instead of having a light bulb, that would do so much more for you. So much more for you. Just blow them things out when it's time to go to bed. You know what I mean? Um, very warming, very stimulating, very healing. It, it, it emits infrared. It's a natural light. It's a natural source. It's fire. Man. Once again, but for everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I keep my candles burning. I'm about to invest in some more candles, actually. Um, I'll get some because I'm telling especially with the shit going on right now, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all need to have candles in y'all crib. You know what I mean? Get some white candles, tea lights, you know, all that. Cause you need to have some fire and some flame burning. You know what I mean? And then remember a candle represents you. I'm gonna say that again. The candle represents you. That wax is your physical body. 
as you go through your body, as you go through your life, rather, your body burns away. You start to dissolve, just like the candle does. It doesn't dissipate. It doesn't disappear. You smell the candle. When you blow a candle, like if somebody blows a candle out in a room, three rooms away from me, I'll walk in that room and be like, yo, somebody just blew a candle out? Like you could smell the wax in the air. You know what I'm saying? So it represents that, that, that timeline. It represents your soul as it continues to, 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 to go down that wick all the way down to the bottom of that candle until it's done, you know, as it's surrounded by that glass, you know, candles are, yeah, candles are everything, man. Mm. You know? And all the colors have a different um, um, energy to them. They represent something in particular. You know, you got the seven day candles, you got the big boys, you know, you got the tea lights, you got the, the slender ones that you could put, you know, inside the big candle holders. All of them mean something. Mm. You know, when you look at occultism, like them cats got candles burning, bro. Mm. Yeah, candles are, are very, very important and, and they're, they're good for you. You know, another reason why all of this artificial light is bad is that we, if we do go out at nighttime, we can't see the sky no more. Like stars, seeing the stars are very important too. Okay? Glad you brought that up. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Because they, the same way you have neural connections in your brain mm -hmm. and masses of neurons called ganglia, mm -hmm. the constellations are the same. Exactly. You're looking at celestial neural collect, uh, connections and celestial neural ganglia. So as you look at those stars twinkling and hitting because they, they move, they mm -hmm. vibrate. Some are yellow, some are blue, some are white. They're triggering and aligning things in your brain, waking you up, popping parts of your brain, getting you good. You take that, then you go to sleep. Man, who know where you gonna go? Yeah. So it's like a, um, uh, um, it's a tune-up. You know, you, you driving your car too long, everything needs your oil change, you gotta lift the hood, they gotta change the belts and the hoses and all that. That's what, looking up at the stars does to you mm. it align it gets you all your all your nerves all those little um with the acupuncture the meridian points all of them little ganglia them little important points is hitting them pop 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 getting them things back together and then don't see a shooting star you i mean I feel it. I don't you've seen a shooting star before right rich of course yeah what, yeah. what, what you feel like when you see that you, yo, it, it's like, oh my God, euphoria. Yes, it's, like, no, it's really no words. It's just, it comes, it's, it just washes all over you and you just be like, you really be like, I'm not alone in this bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's something bigger going on. You yeah. feel it, it feels like it did something to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's just you catching one of the stars move. And it's, I'm talking about, if you're not looking in that direction, you miss it. You don't have no time to tap somebody's shoulder and be like, look, yeah, you can, yeah. by the time you, it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's such a fleeting moment, but so impactful. So do you think we're actually looking at, you know, they say as above, so below. Some people say that shit is literal. Do you think we're literally looking at the inside of our brain when we're looking at the sky? Well, when we, when you, when you study Kemet and they talk about the underworld, you know what they talking about, right? What the inside? They talking about the quantum realm, the microscopic realm. Yeah. So uh, what's that a movie? What's the movie? Ant, uh, Ant Man. Ant Man, yeah. Ant Man. Yeah. That and Kemet, that's the underworld. That's the underworld. That's what right. They're talking about. Right. So there's an there's a macroscopic world as well that's above us that follows the same rules and the same laws. So shoot, when you go into Big Black Beyond. That's mama. That is that is the infinite soil that you can plant anything in and grow whatever you want out of it. Infinite possibilities. How do you know that? Because when you look up in the sky, motherfucker, you looking at shit going on forever. Can you count the stuff? How long gonna take you to count every star in the sky, Rich? If you was if you was at the equator where there was no smog 
and you can see the Milky Way clear. Could Ooh. you count all the stars in your lifetime? Man. Probably, you probably would have to start over about a thousand times. Yeah. Before you know it, you're going to be 85 years old. Mm -hmm. So it shows the infinite possibilities. Because that's what this thing is all about. It's like life is like a deck of cards. See, when you got a deck of cards, when you shuffle in that deck, that's quantum mechanics. That's the infinite probabilities. That's something being everything at one time. The waveform collapses when you flip that card and you see an ace, or when you dish the card out to another person. That's the collapse of the waveform. That's the observation. That's when a wave becomes a particle. Mm. So if people want to get an understanding, oh, wave particle, da, 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 da. think about cards when you shuffle in. Anything, any, any card, it could be any card at that time. But it's not until you pull a card out, bow, is it something real? Yo, you know what's crazy, KT? I love conversation. I love things that stretch my imagination. And that's why I'm so happy I'm having this workshop. But so now this concept of as above, so below is just like, it's endless. This whole fractal concept, um, fractal geometry and, and, and as above, so below. Um, so we got the bacteria in us. Mm -hmm. That when we give it certain light, we, we, we have a body and we got a whole 100 trillion, over 100 trillion bacteria inside of us. When we feed it certain light, it behaves a certain way. So we got the universe. Yes. So, so we're the bacteria in the universe. And when the universe feeds us certain light, when it's going through its procession of the equinoxes, we behave a certain way. So we got the dark oh, age. No. We, got the we behave a certain way to what? To the earth. To the earth. Shit. You see what I'm saying? Man. So then the earth can do the things it needs to do. Right. But if we too busy being goddamn cancerous and trying to convince the earth to eat a fucking whopper at two in the morning. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? You're going to get coronaviruses all over the goddamn place, bro. Man, this is just some good conversation, man. Once again, family, we about to get out of here. Can't be on here all night long. We've been on here for an hour and a half, man. I appreciate y'all for staying with us. And I appreciate KT for, um. I just told the brother about this show today, this late this afternoon. So I appreciate the brother for being able to come on at such late notice. But this is Brother Rich, UGR, Black Magic 360. Oh, everybody, check out that meditation on visual album. Oh, yes, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Somebody's about to tap you on the shoulder. You about to do a movie or something, man. That's a journey, right? Listen. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all ain't do, did y'all self the justice of listening to this man, he could be doing anything right now. He could be, he could be trying to freestyle. He could be doing heavy metal. He could just be, he could be trying to do some straight trash. This man is doing a meditation album. So, and the visuals, like how you had the mama at the end with the baby playing and all. Come on. Yeah. You, yo, did you notice in the last video, the sun came from the cosmos? Yes. He came down to earth through the cosmos. Bro, you fooled out. You fooled out with the visual meditation album. Y'all need something to do? Like, that's something to do. Light a candle, put that thing on, listen. Just don't think about nothing. Don't react on it. Don't comment on it. Just observe those images and listen and see where it takes you. See where it takes you because yeah, man, that's just solid, bro. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate, appreciate that, it. That brother. came from a pure place, and I, I have extreme gratitude that you sharing that, you know, with the community because you could be sharing anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's something that will assist people right now. When you feeling all this fear and this corona and Trump and government and all, turn that shit on. Turn yeah. that on. Yeah. And music changes your molecular structure, right? It's, it's, it's yeah. We we supposed to be we about to be doing the raw slash, um um uh, sono cytology is is really what the term would be called. Sono cytology is the the uh, musical influence on the cellular structure. Mm. Cell mm -hmm. cells cells play jazz, Rich. Bro, man. Shit. <laughs> So jazz, jazz. I'm gonna write that on. That's a KT quote. 
Nigga says sales play jazz. That's right. Bro, did you hear this man? He said our sales, wow, bro. Sales play jazz. And the reason why light is so important is because think about it. Light has a speed, 186,000 miles per second, right? That's quantified. It's it's a speed, meaning that if you go 187,000 miles per second, you're going superluminal, you're going past that. So there's, there's a limitation to light. Well, light has a speed. Anything that has a speed to it has to have some type of momentum or something with it. Mm-hmm. When light hits us, the reason why we exist is because we slow light down to the point that matter is made. If you look back at E equal MC squared, you can read that equation both ways. Einstein, I don't know if he knew he was saying this, but what he was trying to say is that light and mass are the same thing. It's just that mass is light when it slows down. So when light hits us, our water's in our body, light slows down and it hits the water. What happens when you hit water, Rich? If you slap some water, what's created? A wave, a wave, and a wave is going to be a sound. So if light hits it this way and hits it that way, and is this frequency and that frequency and this color and this color, you got an A pitch, you got A, you got G, you got C, you got D. Next thing you know, you got like shit playing now. Wow. So your cells is receiving music the same way when we receive music. Should I hear some Tupac? I'm ready to get to it. I hear some Mary J. Blige. I'm ready to reflect. You know what I'm saying? I hear Kendrick Lamar. Shoot, I'm ready to like, man, I'm about to create. You listen to certain, you listen to some classical, you listen to some John Coltrane, you listen to these things. They're going to influence you because your cells is all about vibration, all about music. So yeah. we're going to get into that later. Yeah, we got some amazing shows coming up, y'all. Uh, one late, are we going to do the, the Rod show? Yeah. That That's next week or? Yeah, yeah Rod, I think Rod's next. So two, let's it's do that next. Activating system. We can so do that next. Week. Tell, tell these people how to manifest. Right, indeed. So yeah, KT gonna be back next week, y'all. We gonna be laying down some powerful shows coming up. I mean, so y'all gonna wanna tune in. The brother be back next week. Make sure y'all hit up the brother's website. Remember I said the brother Moss is off the hook. If it's sold out, what do you recommend them doing, brother? Just keep trying? Oh, just, yeah, yeah. If it's sold out, just check like the next day. You can also email me or reach out to me and let me know, KT, it's sold out, I need some Seamoss. You know, and if, if I have to wait a couple days before I put it on, then I'll let you know that. But usually it'll be up either that next day or the day after that. It ain't gonna be too long. It'll be back up. C3 is always gonna be available. The other items I might have to chill on just cause, you know, I gotta satisfy everybody's orders. And CMOS is just very important right now as a chelator of radiation because that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with radiation poison. What does chelator mean for those who, what's chelator? Chelator, chelator translates into claw, claw, because what happens when a molecule is a chelator is it, it forms into this molecular structure that's open like this, and it has one um, um, active site here and another active site here, and you have a heavy metal here that represents the radiation. So what happens is the molecule has an affinity towards it and this binds and that binds and it's almost like a crab mm. pinching or a lobster pinching and it pulls it out the cell and into your urine and then you can get it out of your system. Woo. But that's what chelation is. Being right. able to pull heavy metals and rate and radioactive elements out of your cells and tissues and release it from the body. Excellent, excellent, my brother. Well, that's that's it for the night, family. KT, once again, I appreciate it, my brother. Thanks for having me, bro. We're going to be back next week, family. Peace. Peace.